All right, I'm going to intro this then. Hello. I am Amoeba. I am joined by Catanese and Wave Warrior and RIP to Macwing as his internet has died. Um, Catanese, we haven't actually started the race if you're already going off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's not look out down for the start. You're all right. I got worried when he just started counting down three, two, one, go. Uh, but I figured it was probably for going live and not starting the race. Yeah, because yeah. my TV we... wasn't on. I get scared. <laughs> you're all right. We can, uh, we can just set the start whenever we want. Just yeah. doing a bit of an intro. So yeah, this is Emerald Any Percent. Um, the reason why we're doing this as a race is not because it's going to be massively competitive in a super close race. It's because the end of this run is garbage. <laughs> we're just praying to God that one of us is going to hit the 1 in 32 thing Getting for it to all try. actually work. Yeah, Waves, def Waves on a 100% success rate for first try at the moment, so he needs I to keep that I've attempted that glitch one time in my life. <laughs> But yeah, if we're if we're all ready, yeah, yeah, I will count us down. So three, two, one, go. Apologies if I sound like terrible. I woke up ill this morning. But yes, this is Emerald, and in the glitch run, we're going to be doing like an hour and ten of the glitchless run, basically. Um, and then we're going to do some funky stuff at the end. But we won't spoil the funky stuff if you've never seen it before. And the basic stuff, we pick the girl because it gives us a better rival fight. Yeah. Yeah, Rival 2. This is, to be honest, every justification we have for going faster in this also applies to Glitchless pretty much, but yeah, the Rival 2 fight as the girl is way, way easier. Shoutouts to not getting growled. Yes. Yeah, for anybody familiar with the Glitchless runs, this is going to look pretty similar. Basically, there's gonna be a couple of detours to get some uh, glitched unique items, and the Abra Manip will look slightly different. But We're there is an Abra Manip. The, the Abra Manip is just for an Abra. Yes. However, funnily enough, we do still catch another thing. Yeah, the basic premise of what we're going to need to do for this run is get to Pomake Berries as quickly as possible. Yeah, um, that's literally the only reason we have to play for as long as we do. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, Pomake Berries are the thing that kind of break the rest of the game open. But very shortly, we're probably all going to go quite silent while we try and hit the one frame mud kit in it that's basically yeah. required for this run. Yep. It's going to go great. Yeah. Taking all bets on how many first tries we get, I'm going to go for zero. Same. Yep. I'm going to. Macwing's game crashed. <laughs> what? That was one frame late, I can tell because it was a female zigzag. I'm not putting anybody else off because they all deafened. I hit it first try. Of course you did. <laughs> well, I didn't check. So either I max rolled with careful or... Hit quiet and then careful so far. This is going well. That sounds about right. Oh, 
think I got a third try. That's not too bad. And by the looks of the streams, I think you both got first try. <laughs> I forgot to save for Rival 1. It's gonna happen a lot. I don't think that matters too much. If you die, you can just go back. Yeah. I uh, double crit. What the? What? <laughs> World record pace, let's go. What the hell? I hit extended as well, which I think you both did as well, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I actually hit the very same frame I had hit two runs before, which was the broken path. Um, oh no. But it doesn't matter, first try, keep it. Yeah. Wow, I'm the one letting us down, I got third try. Yeah, Macwing had to drop out his internet in stuff. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but like... No, no, no. Did you get the frame where you and Trico crit turn one? No, he didn't crit. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to save this video. Uh, oh no. I got blocked by the fat guy, this one's dead. <laughs> uh. I quit the last turn. <laughs> Let's go. And now we try to not die to Calvin. Yeah, I'm at 15 HP because of, you know. I'm at 11, luck. which is very average. I did forget to look at my stats at level 6. I think it's right, though. You can tell from your HP at level 7. I think the bad fake one gets... Oh, see, I had this I had this fact so ready to go and then I've forgotten the number. <laughs> It'd be a plus three for the one frame. Yeah, I don't know. Straight special attack if it's not high. Uh oh. To be honest, it might not matter. Luciana. The rest of the run might suck for a while, but it might not actually, because the glitch doesn't rely on yeah. stats on the mud kit, so. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Alright, just making sure. I am a coward and saving for Calvin. I did the same. I didn't save because my health was so high and then I got crit on turn one, so that, that scared me a bit. <laughs> Yo, two turn Calvin. Where is this luck on actual attempts? <laughs> I missed turn two. So did he. Okay, useless turn. <laughs> Anyone get a level four low tad? Sad to know. Some of us aren't past Calvin yet, okay? Uh, <laughs> you should probably get on that. Yeah. Do you know what I did get? I got no encounters. Oh, nice. I got a uh, three total, I think. You gotta get, you know, average luck somewhere, right?
Yeah, there's a few bugs with the stream at the moment, but text on it, we promise. Bad news. Rods don't die. That is sad news. Can you imagine oh, no. if, one, if somebody hits that in a race? <laughs> imagine how mad someone would be if they hit it in a race. I think if you're doing mud kit manip, it's just like not possible. Yeah, I agree. I think we've probably seen a good, if not all of the frames, basically. Okay, we definitely haven't seen all of the frames, but... Well, I mean, all of... I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen all of the frames where killing the routes actually saves time. Because there's a cutoff at some point where you've waited yeah. that long that it's not worth it. Because mm, it's not that much time save. It's like, in, in, like, three encounters with a routes kill is probably slower than encounters without. Maybe. Three runners and no shiny. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're actually talking about there is that the routes and Zigzagoon stats are randomised, so there is a very tiny probability that routes has a low enough defence and Ziggy has good enough attack that it can die, and then the game just kind of acts like Wally caught it anyway. Did everybody remember to save for Aqua Pooch? You, Not you there said yet. that literally right as I got to the tile. <laughs> but yes, I was remembering. Oh, I did forget to heal, though. <laughs> Alright, 11 HP. Let's do this. Jesus. I wish you the best. That's six after a foul in this game, right? Six and then nine. Six to seven, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't care about the max roll. I've been sanded twice. No extension up to this point in Emerald, at least yet. Would take quite a bit of extending. Alright, I got hit two tackles at under 50%. Alright, one tackle. Easy, right? Just point for it. <laughs> uh, do you want to just count us down for a pause? And then we'll all just stop at the same time. Because obviously. Yeah, just. If you want. Yep. Alright, we are just, for anybody watching stream, we are just pausing while they try and fix the lagging issue. And I'm repeating that out loud because you guys can't hear tech, but we can. Behind the scenes. All right, we're all suffering. Every one of us is, yeah. <laughs> uh, two of us healed and one of us missed. Let's go. Good thing I healed. Good Same. Time. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, I'm not healing again. Come on, man. Wow, oh, I, I might take target. the lead. <laughs> yep. I just got attacked oh, four times in a row. I am on four sand attacks and I've still got to hit him three times. And he's rolling tens. I think it's actually worth to heal now that I've hit that one. Aquapooch is great, by the way. I reset and then forgot to heal. <laughs> it's so bad. Alright. Time for the three turn pooch. Is anyone through? Yeah. I am, no. yeah. <laughs> I've still got to hit twice, and I think I'm at five sand attacks. And he's going to two shot me. 
literally can't even heal anymore. He's just going to kill me. Oh no. We're on one wall. I'm so this dead if you have a quick tackle. <laughs> Everybody should feel encouraged to run this. Okay. This is my fourth turn and no sand yet. I'm pretty sure I die from full to a tackle crit. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'm fine. Katniss, how does it feel to have had the best aqua pooch fight out of three of us? It feels great. I'm pretty confident I'm going to win this whole thing now. If I don't die, the Geo dude. Mm, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, so unfortunately none of us actually found um, a level 4 Lotad in the wild, which is or a Routes to be fair, which is worth bopping because you get an extra level for Aquapooch and for the first trainer in this gym. So you, you actually do the second trainer first because it's easier. Um, unfortunately none of us are able to show that one off. Yeah, it also lets you fight an extra trainer which makes a spinner pass way better. Yes. So I feel like it's, at least for a like consistency's sake, it's always worth it. But probably slower. It's slower top end, which is why it doesn't really get done in glitchless, but it's very close. So it's super worth it in any percent, because the category is mostly about getting as many runs as you can to the final, rather than how fast an individual run is. But yeah, unfortunately we can't do Sapphire's neat little trick of catching a Wingull and using it to nearly kill the Geodude. Um, because if we have two Pokemon on us, the twins on the bridge will fight us automatically, and depositing is very slow. I left with 11, do I risk this help? Might just go into Roxanne. 22. I, I didn't heal when I was dead to crit on the last turn, and he hit tackle through five accuracy drops, and I got scared. Yeah, that Geodude just doesn't care about the drops. I swear he gets more accurate later <laughs> in the fight. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, once we pick up Water Gun. We are bowling through this gym. We do fight these extra trainers because they're really good experience. But these are... Unless you happen to do the high experience route, these are the only optionals that we fight, I think. Yeah. And coming up is Roxanne. This fight plays a little differently uh, depending on what health you enter at. Sometimes you growl, sometimes you do not. I am pretty low health, so I will growl. Maybe even twice. Because you really want to set up torrents here for the upcoming part. I'm going to growl once and hope that Rock 2 knocks me to 12, which is 50%. But 12 is the magic HP if you've got to growl up, because you're in torrent, but you're also not dead to Rock 2. Yeah, the way the numbers work out in Emerald is really annoying. It's only 12 is good torrent. And Sapphire, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are all good torrent on Growl Threads. Yeah. It's another advantage of high experience is that you're with a high XP, you've got 14 for Nose Pass, and then yeah. I think it's the same again. I think it's 10 to 13 is all good torrent. Yeah. In this game, the Nose Pass is a lonely nature, so it, uh, it, it hurts. I remember to say for Roxanne. I did, thank you. I'm just saying, I'm just congratulating myself for doing it, because <laughs> both of my previous marathons that I participated in, I forgot. I did forget to say, I did Emerald Glitchless for a marathon once, I forgot to say for Rival 2. That was a nervy oh, moment. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was not punished, thankfully. Get the range, please. Oh, yes.
So that was a decent enough Roxanne for me. Got oh, sorry. Pulse. I got 11. Oh, make a safe fight for me then. So coming up for me is the Abra manipulation here. Uh, it's a tree frame manip and uh, we need to get a very specific Abra for the corruption to work later on. Magic crit, it sounds like. Not for me. I know Cassini's crit and it killed, but I don't know what turn that was on. Uh, it oh, was the last I... one. That was a weird one. I crit after the first potion and killed. Mm, I need 19 to get like the the half fight. I got it. Yeah. So, like, Here, the, I'm... One, the one potion fight. Wait. Yeah. There's a Roxanne's a really interesting fight in Emerald in general. There's a lot of like HP management that can make it very interesting. You just tackle anything on Route 116 to catch them. Pretty much, yeah. Don't water gun anything. Um, yeah. Apart from level eight Halo, you can risk it. I think. Encada sounds like it won't be fun. Wait, no, it's uh, not you might want to tackle it twice. Mm -hmm. But you have got a great ball, don't forget, so it's not a bad. Yeah. Particularly bad catch. But yeah, we need to catch literally anything alongside the Abra. We just need an extra mon in our party. It does not matter what it is. Of course, I got no encounter. Who? One potion left. I crit a wild poochie in up. Oh, you can fight the hiker now and then get a safe museum fight. It's not as bad as it sounds. So you're saying I can fight the bottom hiker and that gets me. Yep. Oh, it nice. should should get you sixteen. Same as early. Oh experience. yeah, because yeah, it's much higher level. Yeah, any kill here works for that. These spinners are notorious for never spinning. Oh no, dude. Oh, I actually have to redo the manic now. <laughs> Lol. Oh, did you hit the youngster? Yeah, I missed the uh, run manic there. Yeah, this Abramanip is a fairly recent development and makes this category at least a little bit nicer now. Because it used to be a frame perfect minute. Wow, I got perfect spinners as well. But yeah, the manip is easy enough. Way easier than the manip we do in Glitchless. Where we have to chain it. Or don't have to, but it's optimal to do so. <laughs> I can see Macwing freaking out in chat because I think Wave saved with the bug catcher facing the opposite way. We literally had this talk just before the uh, um, the run started that that guy won't affect it, it's only Karen because the rotators don't advance RNG. And I don't judge you at all because I would have made the same mistake. It was only Cassidy's pointing it out. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Because he's not actually a spinner so he doesn't change RNG at all. So as long as Karen's facing the same direction, the manip will work. No, I'm not sand attack. And Torrent here is nice for the pooch because you one shot it and won't get sanded. Otherwise, you can lose a ton of time. Yeah, it's nice ideally to leave Roxanne with uh, 
10 or less, I think it is. Maybe 9. Although, at the same time, you do often take damage from the thing that you catch in this category, so... I just YOLO with a great. I don't know if it's actually better to damage first. Alright, I think we all survived the minutes. Yeah. A few, a few tries. Yeah. Credit to, to Wave, who literally learned that minute about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, that Abra is probably the only detour for a while from the glitchless route. We'll be taking a slight detour later on once we get to Meteor Falls, where we'll uh, we'll swing by the guy I'm actually talking to actually and pick up an XP share. Yeah, and some other small details like not picking up the nugget and hence saving a little time on movement and stuff like that. But like very minor stuff. Entering the center back when we did in Petalburg is going to allow us to teleport back here. Not before we get taught how to use a phone. And another minor advantage of uh, the new Minip as well is that we catch something before Abra, so we don't need to swap Abra from second back to first. Uh, sure. The third, sorry. So Wave's done. Um, he acted, like unintentionally crit one of the encounters in one sixteen, and that allowed him to also fight a hiker that we're going to have to pass later anyway. Um, but this will give him Marsh Stomp early, <clears throat> and that's going to save two turns on a museum fight later. So yeah, the two... I have to save for it. And you don't have to save for it, yeah. So the the two turns that you've effectively lost are cancelled out by them, saved later, and it's a much safer version. So not really uh, worth grinding for if we don't happen into that extra experience, but Wave's hand was kind of forced, so now it's a better strat. Some neat little quirk. One of the hardest parts of the run is not saying yes to Brendan here. Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Arai as Glitchless PB. Yeah. I thought, like how you started by saying I accidentally killed the thing. Well, as in you didn't... Now, what, nothing was accidental <laughs> about it. It just kind of happened. You didn't intend to, is more yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Things happen. Now my, uh, my mod kit has an extra attack at EV, right? Uh... De definitely getting Ben range now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick up the beach potion. I don't think it'll matter. And I think I'll get the beach revive at least. To skip yeah. saving for museum. It's just faster in races. Yeah. And also, coming up is one of the most polarizing subjects of PSR uh, whether you <laughs> should talk to Steven from the left or from the right. I'm gonna do top, Steven. Oh no. <laughs> Illegal techniques, right? Uh, real here. gamers mess up the move and talk to him from below. <laughs> And so you are supposed to talk to him from the side, because then he walks less tiles to get around you. And Stephen walks slow like an old man. Oh, 
Oh, I actually did. No, I was supposed to talk from the left. <laughs> did you write Steven? I accidentally write Steven. Oh, oh no. All people got to these. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> this feels so wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna have money for aquarium. That's funny. Because of how the extra money worked out. It doesn't matter. It's just funny. Now the NPC will just think that you're part of Team Aqua. Oh, please, don't hate on me. It was an accident. <laughs> I love as well that I did, like, the unoptimal stuff, and yet you're the one getting the hate. Fish can suck because it has bite, which does a lot of damage, and can flinch, and it's a speed type. And focus energy, so you can crit more. However, I just went damageless. Just get lucky, forehead. And that's the fish that Wave's gonna have the benefit of mud shotting with his uh, march stomp in a bit. Yeah, since you're speed tied, this can actually get pretty annoying. It's speed tied, bite does like 40% of your health. Crit nearly kills you from full. Rough skin, and your best move is tackle. It's not a good time. Please don't bite. Okay, good. It's so dangerous that even with revive, it's not a safe fight. That's an easy situation there. It was a little bit scary because uh, he was on the final turn with 17 health. It's like outspeed and chose bite is kind of rare, but if that happens, you die. Yeah. One in six to die there, plus yeah. the crits. But I have the revive, so chose to just roll with it. It's funny how many parallels there are across uh, PSR runs. There's legitimately a, a grunt fight that we do in Moon, where you two-shot a Zubat and it has supersonic and two damaging moves. And the only difference between that and the Zubat here is that it's absorbed instead of leech life. And I feel like whenever this Zubat goes for supersonic, it never misses. I agree. However, I also feel like if you ever get confused by the Subat, I feel like the two-turn breakouts are really common. This is complete nothing <laughs> coincidence, yeah. but... I'm going to send you guys a link to the Wikipedia page for confirmation bias. <laughs> and I'm going to double down on my point anyway, like a sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, like already, this is my favorite category, so I think I am living in denial. Did Wave crash? No, I think his stream's just frozen. It's gonna be my end. Nope. Drop frame zero. Get together. Everybody yell at tech, smile. Don't do that. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, just joking. Wow, killing the first Carvana is so easy. How did you almost die? Big moves from a guy in last. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, Rival 2 is going to be the great equalizer. For sure. Well, we always say that, but then the person in last always gets the worst outcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
these Poke fan fights blow as well. Um, they both outspeed, and if you get double growled, it's you just don't kill the minion. You get an extra level for the first thing. That doesn't matter. It's the second things that matter. Um, yeah. You will because you've done the hiker fight. Mode, right? No, you'll have twenty for wingle and tackles or range. Oh yeah, that's right. Forty-seven or something. I don't know. I won't lie. It's, it's not great, whatever it is. I got double growl, yay! Now I have to two shot the minimum. Yeah, Isabel sucks. Because it's always when you're practicing, she's the one who calls you after you save and quit. Yeah. And keeps telling about the mine and the puzzle. So you really hate these two mice. You guys just get like eight turn fights on the plus and minus. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my TV turned itself off. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been in a worse section at least. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not in the Mac. What section. happened? Uh, I have this bad, uh, like, smart TV that <laughs> keeps running out of memory <laughs> randomly. Why would a TV need memory? Why stupid? Uh, it well, has, most like, modern TVs are gonna need some amount of memory. But well, yeah, well, like it's nothing. <laughs> it's just whatever chip on there is handling the logic. A very important save here, so because rival two deaths are completely unrecoverable. I, when I was at GDQ and we were doing the big Let's Go race, I was on a smart TV that would turn off if the screen was black for too long. So every <laughs> time I would go through a screen transition, my TV would turn off and then turn back on. So I'd have to play blind for like a second after every single screen transition. Oh no. Like, yeah, you can somehow play on the OBS preview, but it's still a little laggy, so I'd really try not to. Yeah, OBS is very delayed. No sleepless for me. Yeah, Mockling's right, you should just download more RAM for your TV. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should. Good call. Download more RAM.com. <laughs> I am out of potions. I guess I'll I, I picked up both the PC potion and the beach potion on the first pass. <laughs> I should have picked up the beach potion on the way back. Although I think it's going to work out fine. Alright, so this is the scary part of this fight. We can't miss and we can't get crit. Please, Ember. Thank you. Please don't burn. Thank you. I got the sleepless. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. That's got double frame perfect on the uh, thinner pass. Frame perfect pause into frame perfect. Full heal pickup. <laughs> nice. Got also, gamer. <laughs> Uh, because I got the uh, extra experience and was 16 for Carvana, I wasn't punished for completely forgetting that you're supposed to equip the soft sand before Carvana. It was actually optimal. <laughs> okay, now the actual hard part. Don't die to Wingle. Yeah, that one's uh, fine if you die to if you have to revive, though. So yeah, that's true, end. yeah. Not the end of the world. Uh, Ember again. They'll be on on the last turn. But yeah, I water gunned the last turn there just because I didn't want to miss tackle because I was always dead if I missed tackle. Am I a coward if I slapped the Magnemite at 19? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like what? 2 and 16 miss range into having to roll supersonic into it having to hit. Into like hitting yourself twice. Isn't this 14 and 16 in Torrent? Yeah, that's why I said 2 and 16 to miss the range. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm through. I wow, no rifle 2 deaths. Mm, nice. Wow, we. Okay, quiz time. What type is the hidden power this Abra uses? I know the answer, but I don't sir, want to say it. Me. Like... See if chat knows. Also, I missed the lingo range. It wasn't even close. <laughs> Tucker with the correct answer. Is it 30 base power? I guess that makes sense. I didn't actually mm -hmm. know the base power. I assume it's just zero IVs, so... Yeah, it is. The 30 attack would... Or 30 base power would make sense. Oh, I tried to teach stealing. Let's go. Uh, do I need to pick up the elixir still? I can't remember. Yes. Yes, That's, you do. Okay, thank you. No, it is definitely fighting. Yeah, it's definitely fighting. <laughs> yeah, the fun fact seems... Uh, crit trolls work funny, and that I think the crit troll there is seven, even though it does two to three usually. Uh, I think yeah, Jester has died from seven HP on that Abra. Yeah, it's, so oh. it rolls two normally, and crit does six, or oh, does five to six. Sorry. Right. Yeah, that I thought it was six. Oh, max. okay, yeah, that might be the case. Yeah. So yeah, dying uh, at six is like possible but ridiculous. And crit rolls uh, in this game are weird how they're calculated. They usually do more right. than double. It makes sense. It's because it's it's doubling before yeah. it floors it. Right. Yeah, I mean it makes sense, but it's different from other games. So, it, like the thing that catches me off guard is this is Fireleaf Green, but it's the same mechanic. Like, Weedle does three damage, but Crit can do nine. Yeah, that's stupid to me. Man, it's like I mean Gen Seven has this weird thing where it's like. Um, like there's a fight early on in the game where it always rolls 14 except the max roll is 18. It's like, how does that work? Yeah, that's... Gen 7, 8 also is weird rounding. Yeah. Uh, it's it's especially weird in Gen 3 if it's a stab move, because then it, like, crit tends to do a bit extra. Just again from all the rounding. Also, apologies if I go quiet on commentary for a little bit. My cold's starting to kill me again. It's either that you can listen to a sneeze every five seconds. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I got about five hours of sleep, so... <laughs> oh, dear. Why is, why is Emerald Benny percent cursed at this marathon? I mean, it's not a great category to begin with, but it is properly, <laughs> like, cursed at this point. <laughs> There's been three attempts to do this. <laughs> right, this zigzagging range is 50-50. Hitting it is great. Thank you very much. Missing it tends to ruin glitchless speedruns, fun fact. It's just the, the dumbest way to lose <laughs> time. It's just the amount of time, because it's like, not only yeah. do you gain an extra turn, but he's going to choose something and it's always bad. Yeah, all three of his moves are bad. And practice this vault orb exploded on me, so if I could not get that again, that'd be great. Please do not growl. Thank you. Uh, can't water gun the worlds. 
No, you can't. <laughs> you should have sent it. Please tell me you sent it. <laughs> no, I don't use the mudshot. But... Ooh, roll that mess. Okay. Well, I actually do need to mudshot now because he has a chance to boom again. But now I outspeed. Um, no, yeah. Cassidy's didn't. Yeah. Do I need to save to play around specifically self destruct? <laughs> Not if you've got the revive now. And even then, it only does like two thirds if it doesn't crit. Yeah, it would crit. Is the scary thing. That's a very specific. That's like. I feel like that's like one in 600 or something. Uh, yeah, you never know. I got that, to be fair, I got it in practice. I got self destruct and then I missed on Magneton, got Sonic Boom, and then I got Quick Attack Crit from the Manetric. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is done then. Oh, no. Not on Watson yet. Okay, uh, going into bag, we have spend range for future reference. <laughs> Good to know, thank you. <laughs> did you hit Ben range as well, Katanins? Uh I did not, but I got hit, but so it wasn't bad. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and any percent headbutt's not really an issue. Yeah. Yeah, since we have way more money for the Falarbor shop, we can buy supers yeah. as much as we want. Oh, Katanese, you should tell Wave about the, the X-Speed Yeah, you thing. have money to buy one extra X-Speed in the Falarbor shop, so if you have to stall for two damage later, then that's a way faster option. Well, so just buy two instead of one. Well, I bought... Uh, no, in Falarbor. I, I yeah. understand, but I had less money leaving oh, yeah. Pedalbert shop. Uh, but you actually still afford it if you want to. Even with yeah, zero yeah. money leaving. Yes, because we we only had fifty and we had fifty eight and then we paid fifty for the ticket, so we have eight leaving the museum. Oh, so I have more. Because yeah. <laughs> you're six short from being able to buy buy two extra. So it should So be I can out. buy yeah. two X speeds is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Two five two five one. I've got some nice HP. No, dude. Nope. Oh! I did a mistake I have never done before. Hitting the pool trainer before. Brook. Oh, that's not the easiest fight. I think he has a I whale. I hope so. <laughs> No, it's not an easy one. He has a whale mode, which is kind of an issue. If I remember rightly. He does. Also a reminder, once you get there to pick up the protein. Oh, of course he has a potion too. The stuff you learn from playing bad. <laughs> Can you tell how many times I've hit that guy by the fact that I knew he had a whale? <laughs> uh... It's really weird to have left Watson with no damage. Well, at least now I can buy like a ton X beeps. <laughs> Yay! To be fair, I just bought. What did I, I bought? Two five. Hold up, what? Two five, two five one, and then could afford another two speeds. And I haven't done any extra money that I know of. Yeah. 
I had a thousand luck. Oh wait, no. So yeah, this will be the the first slight well not the first, but the second kind of any percent specific detour. Instead of going straight through like we would in Glitchless, I'm gonna go speak to Mr. Devon. Get the experience share. Why do I have in my brain that you're supposed to repel the tile earlier at the start of the like right after Watson? That got run out, right? Tile earlier? Uh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You are okay. you it got routed out because we get the HP up later. But yeah, yeah that's, that's right. It thought. used to do that. Because the wally the wally call wouldn't happen. Oops. Why is wave repelling? Where is he? Uh oh. Mm. That's Oh, did you use a regular repel? I see. Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright, well. Yeah, you're on supers now. Did you get yeah. the protein, by the way? I did. It's fine. I had an extra repel. Do yeah. you remember where to super repel just before Devon? It's like five, five <laughs> tiles before you talk to Mr. Devon. Yeah. Don't teach strength over mud shot. That's a good job, me. So yeah, the protein, it's kind of a safety strat for Glitchless, but it's just, again, worth it here. Um, eliminates a camera up range, and what else does it do? It does a lot of stuff, I can't remember anything else now. <laughs> Let's see what I remember. Um, oh, it makes the Jody range way better as well. I don't remember if I did the I must have done the super yeah. yeah. I still have to fight these two guys because we will be passing by them anyway, and the experience is useful for the mid game. So they're not really optionals because they'd have to be fought anyway. I really want to avoid effect spore here. Hey, I did, yay. Okay, I get an optional. I hit the bike catcher spinner. So I was off by a tile. Oh no. Yeah, there's worse ones. At least you can know you'll kill that. Yeah. Insta spinners, let's go. What's the hiker spot? If that hiker didn't spin there, it would have just been safe to go straight up. But never lucky. I will never forget when Shiru tossed the protein here in Barrier Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I forgot about that. I'll never Truly forget how he sat, he sat on commentary for the last like six hours. Because he was just grinding up and down the cable car trying to get the hiker to that. show up. <laughs> and it and never did he happened. Ever get out? He did. No. He kept talking about what we're going to get first a hiker or a divorce. Not a lot 
to talk about here. They were just bopping grunts at this point. Yeah, so this shroom is right here that Amoeba just fought and we will fight very soon. Is is 30% oh, status you? Or how uh, much? Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> oh, did you not go do that? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, uh, I wonder if it would have been fine to do it after Flannery. I don't know. Yeah, because you don't need the money for a herb shop at least. Nah, you might have gone away with it, but I wouldn't have... Yeah, I think that's definitely just the better option is to go back. Uh, it's only 10% for Effect Spore on this gen as well. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to run out of repels now, I think. Never. Um, uh, I, the, I might still make it. Y'all are the grass underneath cable car and just... Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, we super repel for like those eight grass tiles or whatever. Yeah, and the rock smash. Or... And the rock smash. Yeah. Um... Time for Maxi Wong. And the same as Glitchless, gonna swap a little buddy to the front to tank Intimidate and allow us to set up guard spec. Ah, oh, last time. Please don't bite me, please pocket sand. Yay. Good my Tiana. I'm at health HB going into maxi. Should I heal, do you guys think? Yes. I do tank. Okay, yeah. He will because you're at half HP he's always gonna bite, so one flip yeah. is gonna ruin your day. True. You do have two supers, right? Uh, yeah, I have three. Yeah, that's fine. Because that is the other potential improvement for record attempts, is completely skipping herb shot. Oh yeah. But it is kind of garbage, because you don't have any heals for Spinder on normal. Any heal powders. You've got one full heal, so you just have to YOLO the confusion and heal it on Vigoroth. I wonder if there are Perzims anywhere earlier. There are six Perzims just before the Protein, on the right hand side by... Uh, I can't remember the lady's name, but the lady that made the boxes. In this Lanette. Gym. That's the one. I definitely don't remember Flannery's gem layout. Apparently the beginner notes have a really good map in them, that's because Macwing also doesn't remember the layout. <laughs> Alright, time to uh, pull up these beginner notes. <laughs> Although in, yeah, to be fair, in defense for both of you, you've got to remember the Sapphire and the Emerald ones yeah, right now. So, yeah. The Sapphire one's gross, actually. I had to have a map for that one. I feel like there's a it, there's an easier way to remember the Emerald one than the Sapphire one. Yeah, I don't know if Amoeba already went through this, but the reason we catch the other Pokemon is to eat this Intimidate here, set up a guard spec, and also we have to have an extra Pokemon in our party for the glitch to work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Saving for Fannery, because she blows in this category as well. I would like the Slugma to light screen. I mean, but didn't you create the Toracol two runs in a row during Barrier Blitz? 
sure. I don't remember. I, I think so, yeah. That sounds like something, yeah. Something you would like to do. Yeah, that's something I'd like to do here. I got light screen. And I'm at good health, so... I kind of just need to avoid attract or body slam power here. But it does like to attract. Kind of a shame I hit the option oh, because I could have... Nice. Oh, that's a really good crit as well. I got sunny day. Yay. I could have skipped the elixir menu here, but now I have to do it because I wasted so many mud shots on the optional. Oh, come on, I missed the camera mud shot. That's not fair. <laughs> I was about to say that, that that crit on the Mighty End is deceptively good because you don't get the guards by text. Yeah, but they're ruined. Herb shop market. It doesn't really matter too much what you buy here. You just need to make sure that you buy heal powders and heals. Uh, I can't say I even buy a consistent amount every time. I just scroll to an amount of heal powders and then max roots. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Menu's been great. I tried to elixir a dead pooch. Come on, let's go. We did it. Nobody really pay attention to that. I'm great. And unfortunately, as nice as it would be to skip this kind of detour for the uh, desert candy, Norman's gym is just ass. Like, level 30 helps so much. Oh yeah, smog no poison. Let's go. He saves 50 million years. I think the Japanese runners usually set up on the normal because they don't want to get poisoned. There. Might be also a difference in the natures of the opposing Pokemon. No, I think they they just avoid getting poisoned. Yeah. We avoid the normal because we don't like takedown. I think it is. Well, it does. No, it has magnitude and magnitude high yeah. ball and is also bad. Does it also have a trap? No, it uh, has has takedown, overheat, which it'll never use unless it kills, um, magnitude, and sunny day, I think it is. But it is worth, if you don't have a full heal, it is actually better to set up on the new one, because poison's just dead. Right? Yeah. I've missed much shot on Torkoal in sun. Ooh. Don't get paralyzed. I also didn't save. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, sun's gone. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine. I can't believe you survived that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> A very minor improvement with protein is that we can strength the Maku hitter. Um, missing Mudshot is terrible because it'll bulk up and then Mudshot doesn't kill and it can just cycle. Um, strength is a, I think it's a 14 and 16 range, but if you miss the range, you just strength again and win. So, uh, I think it's 15 and 16. It is 15 and 16. Right. It's still, it's one. It's like the opposite of the Y noon that we were talking earlier, though, where it's like you'd actually you actually take the slightly more likely range miss because it's just a better scenario, even if that happens. Bonk City. Oh no. I took an extra step, so 
That ruins the rebel setup now. I tried to do Anna Pass and it was all going well and then I accidentally caught up instead of down and <laughs> took an extra step the wrong way. Well, I, I could it. still go for Anna Pass but I haven't practiced it so <laughs> yeah. that might not be a good idea. Well, didn't you repel in front of the, the picnicker? Uh, I did but I, I took two extra steps right after. Yeah, if you do Anna Pass you have to repel right in front of the grass as well. Yeah. But having wasted two steps, I could have switched to Anna Pass. Can you? Oh, interesting. Oh, no, no, no. I I thought it the wrong way around. Also, I get two encounters. Yay. Yeah, I was being Anna Pass wins again. Yeah, it's the other way around. If you waste steps on Anna Pass, then you can switch to the old one. I'm still going to pick up the potion here just because it might be necessary in uh, a setup a bit later. I'm hoping it won't, but you never know. At Norman's gym. Where things start getting interesting. <gasps> I almost walk into an optional in Brawler's gym. <laughs> oh, that's the point. Just wave, remember what Emerald Brawler's gym looks like. It's a great question. <laughs> yes. To be honest, I haven't I haven't done PSR in like since the Fire Red Leaf Pin tournament last year, so this is going fairly well considering. The minor benefit of protein. I need to put more shot back in slot one at some point, right? Yes, you're supposed to do that on the teleport after Desert yeah, Candy. I know you're supposed to, I was just asking if it mattered. Yes, yes it does. Oh, don't confuse me. Thank you. And here's where everything starts to deviate from Glitchless. So I'm now going to attach XP share to my Abra. Oh, I'm behind. <laughs> I'm also going to heal that little bit of damage off on Marshall. As unnecessary as that looks. I'm also going to save because the Jody and the Norman fight are awful. But we want to get... I can't remember what the total is. It's... Oh, we want 13 HP and 2 attack EVs. No, 17 and 6, sorry. On 17 HP, 6 attack EVs on our Abra specifically. Can't go over. Um, so we're going to attach the XP share for this and the Norman fight, and that's going to get us a good portion of it, and then we're just going to have to grind the rest out from uh, early route encounters and an HP up that we'll get later. Um, any EVs we get in other stats don't matter at all. So, the Zangus just, sure is just I don't fuck it up. I am supposed to still wear candy after... Uh, yes. You've got a good candy to 30 here. Yes. Just making sure. No, don't worry. Just don't forget that you'll need the Petalberg candy after Norman as well, and that's for... Yeah, yeah. After two Wormballs. But yeah, this, the XP share attached for now is basically just for the EVs off of Zangoose and Slacking. Then we're going to fight four wild Wormpools, four wild Puchienas, and that'll get us to our total. Oh, after a, once we use the HP up, that'll get us to our total EVs. But first we have to survive Norman. Imagine Tita Dance turn one. Into facade crit. Okay, that's a great start. I'm so happy. I never swallowed a not crit me. Okay. I'm not risking that because I'm a coward and I have the energy roots to spare. I mean, I bought seven of them. Yeah, so that's so much money. 
I could have bought nine. I need this guy to stop Peter dancing now. Please don't amoeba special me. Please. No, dude. <laughs> Please, you have lost so have many rounds to dance. Five <laughs> heal powders. And the full heal still. Okay, that's not too bad. So, a weird quirk of to dance AI specifically is that it doesn't stop using it just because you're confused. I got Dizzy Punch from full HP. Feels like cheating. I also got that. I missed the Vigoroth range by uh, an Before HP. battling Jody, equip the EXP share. Don't fuck oh, this up. <laughs> also correct. Okay, protein, Fine. show your power. I need to leave Vigoroth at at least 62 HP. So if he crits this, I've got to heal again. That's Thank fine. You, Jody. Let's go past Jody. You like, you like still have to save before Jody, because you can't. Yes. You can't, you know, throw in your you can't even five. <laughs> yeah. I got crit hit... by slash on turn one. I barely live. Oof. Hit the range. Uh, I gotta no. admit, I didn't save heal. for it. <laughs> Alright, so at 31, we get the option to learn takedown, which we're actually gonna teach. And this is gonna help us in the section straight afterwards. Actually, here as well. We need to get down to 1 HP after the next section, so we don't want to be on high HP after this fight. So, this is the actual difficult bit of the run is managing your HP off of normal. Okay, counter's good. I didn't get the drop, though. Just a little bit of a shame. Get it here, please. Okay, good. Just hit the mud shot. Oh, smile. Oh, no. Okay. That's pretty good HP that I'm leaving at. What do you got? I didn't die. Eight. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you gotta get a four somewhere. Uh, I'll get one off the new Mel fight, and then, yeah, I'll probably have to get one afterwards as well. Off the last well, fight? The new Mel. You, the two new Mel's in the bug catcher are both level you four. Mean... Wait, uh, it... Yeah, Wormpool, Wormpool. Okay, okay. <laughs> Save the wrong Pokemon <laughs> entirely. I was so confused. <laughs> like, where are you fighting a Wormpool? <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> I can't begin to explain how ill I actually feel right now. <laughs> this one is going remarkably well. Right, yeah, so the now that we've got Surf, we can go and get Pomming Berry, so we do not care about doing anything in the run the other than glitching. Did I teach over Water Gun? Yes, but that's correct. Takedown goes over Water Gun, and then you teach Surf over Mudshot. I got Crit on Norman, Sedge. That was a shame, because I was actually about to set up perfect HP for the slacking, but happens. Don't crit me, bigger off. Thank you. The note save a much are interesting. I will fix that after this run. <laughs> Uh, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, you generally you want mud shot in like that exact scenario I got where you get the drop turn to, and you've already taken counter damage. All right. So yeah, I need to bot four pooches and four worm pulls, not numals. And I also what does need to give again two HP. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amoeba special. What was that, sorry? Uh, I just got theater danced on the turn I healed. Nice. The amoeba special is using up all your heal powers. Okay, well, then not quite. Uh, yeah. that was... Okay, well, I used strength on turn one on slacking. Uh, I can't help you Because that's that, where sorry. rock smashes and sapphire. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you would do there. Uh, you get countered and die. Oh, yeah. It could have facaded, to be fair. No. Or yawned. Yawn sucks. I'm on zero two. Oh, I did didn't not candy. Really Oops. No, that's lame. Kind of fine. We have to wait until we've bought two worm pulls because we only just get enough. Ah, uh, dude. HP EVs on 
Marsh Stomp to actually do the Palmade glitch in the first place. Again. Okay. I have the risk 60 health on uh, lacking now. I got a oh, zigzag. Oh no, wait, I get up to 60. You get a level yeah. up, so you should be alright. Yeah. yeah. Just avoid the max one. Don't crit me. Wow, I got all the worm balls, that's cool. I just need four pooches and I want one of them to be level four, so that... that's incorrect again. Okay, I got the Vigoroth mudshot range at level thirty. Nice. <laughs> Misinputted into save time. I switched to this uh, Route 2 grass because Pooch is actually more likely here. And I don't need any more worm pulls. However, it's not super likely, so this could just be a really sucky grind. You really want to find all the Pooches while you're going for the worm pulls. Getting four worm pulls and no Pooches is kind of terrible. I hope that the HP EVs I got from the Whalemur don't mess this up because I have now one more health than I should have, I think. Uh, no, just as long as you, I'd still do the candy after the the wormpool guy, just yeah. to be safe. But yeah, then it's just whatever your HP is at that point. Uh, use counter. Okay. Eleven HP. Right, I'm actually gonna save here because I'm gonna take damage from pooches, and I don't want uh, them to crit me because it's an absolute nightmare if they do. So remind me, if you take down a wormpool from the guy, does that do four? Yes, that's four recoil. Yeah. On both of them. Yeah. So it's only level fours that guarantee the four recoil. Cool. Of course, I found a wingle. Okay, buddy. You have to remind me is it the trainer? The first trainer you pass after Calvin in the DMV? Yes. Game? Okay. Got a second wingle. <laughs> Come on, pooch. I need one more pooch, and then I'm done. That hasn't been too bad if I just get a pooch right here. Yeah! Level 3. Don't crit me. Don't crit me again. Beautiful. So there's my 1 HP. That's my four worm pulls and my four Poochianas. Now the only thing I need to do is just flash Abra in a battle. It doesn't matter what against, as long as Abra's the last thing out. And of course I get a level four Pooch, okay. we have done with that on the last encounter, but... Yeah, okay, okay. And now... The worm pool. We teleport. Did not candy the Abra. There's a hid uh not hidden, Let's an see. HP up here. I got an encounter on the water on the way to the HP up. Man, I hope this doesn't screw me. Level 23, surely I run away from that. Right, well that's really annoying because I've got to flash Abra in a battle again okay, now. This guy, yeah. Uh, whatever. I need five recoil. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, five's... Oh, five is have... a, a level two and then take a, a hit from Pooch. Yeah, I actually get to use the strat I came up with. Yeah, I used it as well to be fair to take four. I did oh, two did. speeds. Yeah, cool. it's good. I like it. Seven HP. I need two threes. Yeah, that's a really good scenario to be. Well, you've got a candy yet as well. Don't forget. Oh, wait. When do you candy? After after that two. Fight. After two what? Worm HP. Pulls. Okay, yeah. so I candy now. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think about that. I need to repel. Okay, first. I need to take nine, which is also fine. So 
So I'm off to go get the uh, the item of the hour. The earliest Palmic Berries we can get are in Berry Master's Gardens, which is why Surf's required. Can't wait to find out that we can do something in Emerald though, similar to like Ruby Sapphire glitched with Tile Corruption, and then just skip Surf entirely. That would be fun. Daisy Guns give nothing, right? Nothing useful. Well, I'm mostly set up now, and I just need to go rename some boxes. Shoutouts to M. Floylero. <laughs> Gotta be my favourite box name. Amoeba, do all wild encounters do two damage to me? Uh, no, I have no idea what anything does other than uh, pooch. Just okay. keep pooch because it's the only one that's guaranteed to hit you because it only has tackle. Oh, yeah. I've seen so many wingles. Okay, I'm that one. I just need to kill three pooch now. So this code is going to be used for arbitrary code execution coming up. Um, I don't know exactly why it works the way it does. You'd have to ask somebody more intelligent than me, but... It basically directs the game. Oops, that's wrong. Didn't want to press start there. But it's basically going to direct the game to play the end, the Hall of Fame cutscene later. All right, I'm done with the EVs. I need two more attack. One more attack. So now I just flash Abra. I don't know why I switched boxes there, that's wrong. Uh, that. This is, I hate this one. I hate the box 7 name. Okay. Box 8's the easiest. E. E. Yeah. E. Okay. Uh, encounter one more thing, throw in Abra. Teleport. Do I have to put Abra in a specific box there. I'm going to save, mostly just as a marathon safety shot. We can end up in a scenario with a bad corruption that we have to undo. And then, now it is time for the actual main event. Uh, I used Pomig Berry on Marsh Tomp with 1 HP. That lowers its overall HP, and the game doesn't check to see whether it dies from that or not. Not So I now have no alive Pokemon in my inventory, or in my party, sorry. But also, the last Pokemon I sent out was Abra, which was in slot 3, and I don't have a slot 3 Pokemon. Do I still have a Repel up? I do. So when I go into a battle next, it's going to try and send in the only alive Pokemon it thinks is in my party, which is in slot 3, which is nothing. So we get the question mark, oh, and then if I check my shop summary, I can then overflow the party, and that just corrupted data somewhere in the game. And it is a 1 in 32 chance that it corrupts the right piece of data to corrupt the Abra that we placed in the box a moment ago. So now we're just going to sit here and grind this out until we get an egg here. My TV did the thing again. I got a bad egg immediately. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so there's a 50-50 chance you can end up with a trainer ID that gives you bad eggs. Bad eggs are, on the bad IDs, are 6 in 36, I think it is. And that's it. It's uh, It completely ruins the setup, and I have to go and flash Abra again and redo. I'd have to do all the box name, but I've got to redo the overall setup. But yes, the... The whole reason why this category blows chunks is because this final glitch is a 1 in 32 chance to work. And that's why we've got three of us here doing it. You're not actually going to get a race between us, you've just got three of us in the hopes that one of us actually hits the glitch. I keep forgetting that I've got no... I've got a repel. Okay. Teleport back to Marvel. Alright, box names time. So, you can see from, uh, oh nice synchronize, idiot. You can see from the fact that um, oh. Wave and Katanese are both like basically right behind me now. 
the lead in this really doesn't make any difference. All all my lead gave me was a single attempt at this glitch. Like they're gonna be on their first attempt as I'm on my second. And the Floy LRO. But I have to flash Abra out into a fight again because the game doesn't have it stored in memory that the last Pokemon out was slot 3. Does it matter which quotes I use? What is box yes. 2? <laughs> is it oh, it's always the right one. It's always, it's always the right one. Yeah, okay, it's always the right you. one. <laughs> I, the question, does it matter which quotes I use, was not the correct question because I knew the answer <laughs> was yes. It was, what the hell do I do? <laughs> Bad egg again on the second attempt. God sake. No way. Really? Oh, yeah. Bad egg is way worse. If you don't get bad egg and you just don't get the right corruption, you can just go back again and the setup, like to set it up again, takes 45 seconds. Bad egg blows because it takes like three minutes to redo the setup every time. So hopefully, both Catanese and Wave get an ID that's uh, that's not bad egg. I also got a call from Isabel. This is great. Oh, box four is nice. Box eight's easy. Yeah, box eight is also nice. <laughs> Big fan of E. R. Is there a space in box five in the middle? Yes, there is. Okay, yes, yeah, space you. question mark N. This is one of the hardest things to get across in notes, is these box names. Yeah, it's really... This glitch has an incredibly high chance of finishing under the glitchless record time. Technically correct, but I hate the sentence. <laughs> Alright, I've redone the setup for a third time. If I'm gonna miss, can I please just not get bad egg? I hate having to do this all over again. Is there a space in the middle of box seven or only at the end? I can't tell. Uh what's box seven? Uh, yes, there mark. is one. There is one. Yes. There's one before yeah. the three dots. Question yeah. mark quote space dot 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 question mark key. Oh. And then the best one. Markiplier. Uh, Q. E. And then two spaces. Actually, to be fair, my lead got me, I think, uh, three attempts. Move hmm. Abra out of your party. That's in the box. Okay, I didn't get a bad egg at least. I didn't get the good egg either, but I get to have another attempt. Hold me back. Okay. All right, esports time. <laughs> so now we're all level pegging. It's just the first person to get egg. Uh, use Omic Berry. Make sure you took a save before you used I Omic did. Berry. Yep, yep. Yeah. Also, the other thing, the other fun part of this is that we won't know if we've messed up the setup until. Oh, uh, I have egg, and it's not bad egg. Uh, Let's go. Okay. Right, well, if I haven't messed this up, watch my screen. If I have messed this uh, up, this is going to be an anti-climax. March Tomp and view its summary. One, two, three. I don't like the fact that this is taking a while to hatch. Okay. Uh, please don't be a bad one. I'm going to check it. I got the Premier Ball again. I think the setup's messed up. Yeah, this, that same thing happened to me earlier today. It happened to me in practice, but that's that's oh, wrong. That's bad, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I've done something wrong again. I've done the same thing wrong as in practice. What the hell have I done? So I'm winning is what I'm hearing. 
I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna remove XP share. See if that does matter. I told people it didn't because I'm sure I've done this before with XP share attached. Well, let's see if this does matter or not. I don't understand. This happened to me in practice, and I don't know where also, it's coming I've, from. Also, I've lost my 100% success rate. Oh no. We were convinced that Wave would be the the one to hit first try again. I'm so sure I did the setup correctly. Never. It's not a one in thirty. The oh, I keep forgetting I've got a repel. Off. The if I get a good egg but it doesn't work, that's generally a sign that my setup's bad and that I've messed something up. Um, what does so that probably... egg look like? It says bad egg in the title. It says bad egg in the title. Thank yeah. you. Never got one before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had to do it to him. <laughs> if I get, like... Do you ever, like, reset without a bad egg, or do you just keep going? No, you just keep going. Yeah. yeah. That's an egg. Bad egg. Alright, how, how do I do this? So, you have to reset, and then flash your Abra in a battle again, and then do the pom egg thing again. Also, take your XP share off in case that is an issue. <laughs> We're learning new things about this category as we go. Okay, so take Abra out of the PC. Yeah. Go into a random battle again. Flash Abra again. Run away. And why would I take out the EXP share? Because I'm worried that that's the thing that's ruining my setup, and I don't want it to be the thing that ruined you guys as well. All right, well. Just in case. I mean, but do you remember if the record run removes the EXP share or not? I don't remember now. Because I don't I feel think like, it I know does. I confirmed it in. At some point, I I posted in the channel and was like, "Hey, the the XP share doesn't matter." But it might be one of those weird things where it does matter on certain IDs or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I have egg again. That seems highly unlikely, but who knows. So the correct egg sh should show that it's in a oh. nest ball. Did I seriously just randomly first try this after taking XP share off? <laughs> Please. I did! Uh, okay, so XP <laughs> share matters and also I win. <laughs> That's it! The run is over. GG's amoeba. We finally got an any percent run finished in PSRM. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, if I get I'll take... this time, I'm gonna say that I still have a 100% hit rate, and that, and that is time. <laughs> yeah, I did save. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, right, I'm now convinced that you do need to take the XP share off. Yeah. This run looks. Re this run run is genuinely fun to do once or twice. Playing for record is kind of ass, but it. It's one of these runs that if we ever find a way that if we get the 1 in 32 to be consistent and we can just get it every time, it will become basically the best glitch category, I th in my opinion. Because it's like all of the fun bits of glitchless really into a really interesting red glitch. Uh, why are you here again? <laughs> Did we all get IDs that get bad eggs, by the way? I didn't uh, get I a did. bad egg yet. Uh, a confirmed game before the bird. Exactly. Oh, I'm just glad we got to show it off at least, finally. Yeah, for sure. Because, <laughs> like, even if there's three of us, there's no guarantee that it will actually happen. Well, you guys have still got uh, 12 minutes. We could actually yeah. see three out of three here. Yeah, I'm gonna get it right here. Do you need to re-save after doing bad egg? No. Um, although, if you want to save to keep the XP share off, then... Yeah, I, I did yeah. that. So. But no, you don't need to re-save. Uh, That's only as a safety strat. Oh, uh, really? Bad oh. <laughs> yeah, the Pidgeotto is just, I think, the default sprite for the... Uh, for the egg, because it doesn't know what to do. Because the, the entire... So the... 
The thing that actually causes the game to run ace is the glitched um, sprite that plays on the egg hatching. Yeah, it's like the animation, right? Something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then that will go and then read the code that we wrote into the box names. And that code tells it to play the Hall of Fame cutscene. Games are very well programmed. I mean, to be fair, we're forcing it's... the game to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, as if somebody tries bad. that. <laughs> yeah. The comic thing is kind of an, a, a fairly bad oversight. But yeah, yeah, that's... The rest that's of this is a... Is like, really? <laughs> like, who All the fuck? is bad. I mean, we should try to get the hiker on the cable car. I might... Uh, there is actually one very little thing I could show off um, once the game reloads as well. Just a fun little... One of the, like, cutscenes that we haven't done yet, but the game would expect you to have done in, on a post-game file kind of breaks. Uh, so we'll go see if we can do that. Also, I don't know what I actually get in my party. Oh, yeah, I get this. I hope, nobody, I hope they haven't got my audio on, because this sounds great. That's my game crashing. You do indeed have my audio on. Congrats! There's a lovely little sound that that plays. <laughs> We don't get so that's that's a weird one there. We don't get the like a dad being here and doing the, the regular post game. Oh, I have nothing to f to get back with. Hey, Denise, have you uh, have you won yet? Not yet, but I mm. too took that exp share off. There's no repels in here either. Uh we'll just go. Right, I'm gonna get encounters. Who cares? Feeling Abra. At least I don't think I have the bad secret ID. Yeah, that's so Katanese uh, can just sit there and grind the uh, the reencounter and over over and over again without having to do the reset, which is a little bit more optimal, although a little bit more boring. Oh no, I don't want to do that because the fisher fishermen will see me. I think I messed something up. Isn't like when you go up three in the Pokemon menu, isn't like Marsh Tom's Pokeball supposed to open a bit or something? No, it depends on a lot of different things. Sometimes it'll highlight half of Marsh Tom, sometimes it'll highlight half of the cancel button. Okay. So no, I don't really know what it depends on to be fair, but it will do randomly different things. No eggs for me. Where is my encounter? <laughs> <laughs> Just took like thirty grass steps. Dude, that was a that was a fun bit of the old any percent route when we used to get Evergrande fly location. One of the thirty-two or one of the thirty-one bad corruptions that you could get would give you a repel with like fifty thousand steps on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like not only did you not get the corruption you wanted, but you also had no idea you weren't going to get an encounter for a long while. It's interesting that it's, that the repel works. It doesn't. It's not like a usable repel. It just activates. It's like it sets a flag in your game to say that you have a repel active, and the value for the repel at that point is like. 50K. Yeah, but the game still checks your level against wild Pokemon level, so I'm surprised that your level is high enough when everything is dead. Oh yeah, because it checks it against the first lead Pokemon, and also we did the corruption in the Route One grass back then. Mm. I mean, if it does it off Marsh Tomp, that makes sense, but if it does it off, like, the level zero... <laughs> uh, it should oh, still man, corrupt even with bad... Okay, I got the egg now. Yeah, Let's so, the, yeah, corruption's independent of the box names. You only find out if you've done the box names badly if you hatch it and it doesn't work. Okay. So this should be a Catanese finish as well? 
Yeah, Lane. fingers crossed. He has the delicious egg. So maybe the EXP share matters, but might be confirmation bias. Possibly, yeah. I yeah. Got it. Cool. Hey. Hey. Two out of three is not bad. Not at all. And we've still got six minutes. Yeah, this one's it. GG's. GG. I like this category. <laughs> you got an egg, but it's bad again. No. Oh, uh, that looks so cool. Uh, Katani's mash, because your time's not finished until it's... <laughs> Oh yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> you were sat on the Hall of Fame bit for a little bit. Oh no, my two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, my 139 is ruined. Oh. I need some repels, I don't want to go all the way over there without repels. I'm determined to show this off now. Apparently none of these markets contain repels. I could do the movement from right to left, but not from left to right. I feel like this one's it, Wave. I thought that not the last one. <laughs> It was interesting that like for five or six tries after that when I did the three up I didn't see any change but on that one where it became a bad egg oh. Marsh Tom's ball opened yeah maybe there's an indicator there we just don't know of I did think that for a little bit because I felt like a lot of the ones I'd had successes on were the ones where it ha highlighted the cancel button um, but then I had one that kind of broke that trend. Fine. I think it just kind of changes what it what it's doing based that on. One, that idea. one opened the Pokeball again. There was another bad egg. Mm. It's a bell. <laughs> I got Isabel twice. She so you know, I'm starting to believe that this glitch might not be a hundred percent consistent. The thing is, is that Wave technically isn't unlucky yet. He'd have to do thirty-two of these before he gets unlucky. Right. Roughly. Yeah. Nah. Like it's it's a little difficult to understate how kind of rare a one in thirty-two is. Yeah, and both Wave and I, the only runs we had finished before this got the first try corruption. <laughs> I'm the only person in this race that doesn't have a first try. I've had second, third, you had and first fifth. first try, the XP share. Oh yeah, that's true. The first try once I'd actually done the setup correctly. I do. Th I feel like that was it. Because I feel like you shouldn't be able to get an egg that isn't a bad egg. And I was so sure the setup was correct. Well, it was correct in this one. I'm so sure it was as well. This is why you quit this category while you're ahead. Okay. I think I've done more runs of this category than anybody else. At this point. Probably true.
<laughs> Rumor has it that Thunder still tried to get a good egg. Yeah, we did a f <laughs> the first race we ever did of this was with four people, and it had. I think Kurt got first try. Katanese, you got like third, didn't you, or something? Was it you that was in that race, or was it. It was probably Mackwing. I only did one race. Oh, yeah, it was, it was yeah. Mackwing. It must have been Mackwing got third. I got like 27th, and I think Thunder gave up after three hours. <laughs> to give you a, a pretty representative example of how this category goes. I'd like to not be in the three hour camp if at all possible. Well, estimate comes up in 20, uh, 40 seconds. <laughs> was a heads um, up. Uh, I thought I still had like five minutes. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure you can have one or two more shots. I'll let uh, I'll let Tech decide on that one. But... Oh, Tech's not here. <laughs> we run the show. <laughs> you can have as many as you want, Wave. We're not leaving until you're done. I'm gonna go fight the, the Winston house, or Winford, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's my stream now. I can do what I want. Right, so the reason why I just fought all of that Weather Institute is to show you that... So normally after the Shelly cutscene, you would get talked to by the scientist to give you the cast form, and the scientist would be stood in amongst the two other guys to the left. But because we've I set a beat, a beat game flag, the scientist is now at the top of the screen because he would then normally be telling you what the weather is. So, we end up doing this cutscene where the scientist walks into <laughs> the bookcase. That was it, that was all I did. I did all that for just for that. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, I got my fifth bad egg. Oh dear. Might have been fourth, I don't remember. Also, it happened when the trainer ball opened again. So, like, I feel like they're correlated. Sounds like confirmation bias to me. Okay, but it's held consistent <laughs> for like ten attempts at this point. Yeah. There are... There are... When you've got the bad TID, I think there are six different corruptions, though, that will give a bad egg. Uh, it's not necessarily the same one every time. Could be five, yeah. I just make this up as I go along, Wave. I didn't know you had to remove the XP share until I failed it. Like, But to be fair, we still don't know. I feel like there's n there was nothing else changed between the two other than the XP share. So I feel like it kind of has to be. Yeah. Shall we say, shall we give Wave until he gets his next bad egg? Because we are above estimate there. You watch your go like nine attempts now with that bad egg. Are we calling it an estimate? It's a time limit. Yeah. But we're ignoring the time limit anyway. Oh, I forgot to use the palm egg fairy. Oh. Uh, yeah, you have Let's to. do this. Yeah, we are slightly stalling as well, because we're hoping Wave's internet comes back for his Sapphire race. My internet's fine, as you can see. Yeah, I mean Mackwing. <laughs> you know who I meant. Don't I know exactly who you meant, but I'm not going to let you get away with that. I managed to call Wormpool Numel, and I've managed to call Wave, uh, no, Mackwing Wave twice. Other than funny if Supersonic hit and I tried to teleport and hit myself. <laughs> <laughs> so why did the Weather Institute thing happen again? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so you know the scientist comes and gives you the cast form after you're done? Yeah. Um, it's also set a flag because I've beaten the game to move him up to the top of the screen so that he can tell you where weather patterns are coming up because like once you get to post game they show you where Groudon and Kyogre are so it kind of mixes the two up and walks the scientist into the bookcase as part of his uh, cutscene <laughs> I 
can feel it, it's this one. It's not even an egg. <laughs> But yeah, that's really BS that only half of the secret IDs get the bagged eggs. Because, like, yeah. on top of the one in 32, you have that extra RNG element to it, which makes it even less grindable. There is a, an in theory manip where we can manip our, I think it's secret ID, to make this consistent, but it's. It's something like triple frame perfect, and you have no feedback as to whether you actually hit the manip or not. I'd also like to point out that if you're grinding for record, whether or not you get a bad egg kind of doesn't matter. Yeah. Yes. Record now at this point, because like, that's what I do in in my 119 is I just walk straight in. I don't save or anything, so if I got a bad egg, the run was just over. Yeah. Because record is at the point now where I think with a perfect run, you could maybe get it with fourth try, but you aren't going to get it with any worse than that. Because record start is fairly mediocre and it gets second try with no bad egg. Um, I think the best pace, the best pace is two eggs. Macwing had one that was a little bit ahead of record, and I've had one that was about a minute and a half ahead of record, but that got like second try bad egg. So, I called it. I told you you'd get no eggs after this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a just a lonely little Abra. Last try. And this is it. Can we get good luck in the chat for Wave? He's got one attempt at a one in thirty-two. And I say attempt as if he has any control over it. Whoops. Oh, the bonk did it. That was it. This yeah. is it. <laughs> Easy. Not even it's an egg. Yeah, which one it is. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay. No. I won't tell you. I won't tell you. <laughs> I've... I've... <laughs> it's not that. I, I kind of have to tell you because the yeah. bad eggs never hatch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just be biking here forever? <laughs> yeah. Alright, GG. Yeah, let's, let's find out what happens when we throw it in battle. Oh yeah, you get the you get the rainbow. Oh yeah. Well it can change sometimes actually. Oh bad oh, egg. Bad egg. Oh you got an egg. No, I've sure. not seen that before. <laughs> Only knows Isn't... teleport. Normally when you send this out it's uh it's a multicolored uh, abra. It's like bright hmm. red. Let's see. Take summary, no doubt. Anything. Yeah, you know, we'll catch it. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, that is going to be it from us, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh. GG's, guys. <laughs> it was a fun ride. Thank you. I want to see if this takes damage. <laughs> and I think this was like a really good showcase of what this category is. Yeah, it's Which a really good example of how stupid. well it can go and can't go. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, at all. everybody wants you to check the summary wave. Oh, check the summary? Okay. Yeah. I'll do that right now. That'll be a good end point for this. Hey, event. we got a mining, guys. <laughs> I'm sure it was an 80% run where I said I need good luck going into this grass and found a shiny miner. <laughs> oh, okay. It's holding an item, but I can't take it. Looks oh, like you it just... like a long time to fetch. You get a normal summary. Yeah. So holding an item, but I don't have an item option. <laughs> why, why is there no item option? What? Because it's an egg. It doesn't recognize it as uh, a Pokemon with an item attack. An egg. Right, we are, an egg. we are going to get out of here before Tech wants to yeah. strangle us. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> um, I can't remember what the race is coming. Oh, it's the TCG race. It's the one where they're doing three different decks at once. It's going to be really good. Make sure you stick around. For sure.